Dear viewers, till our previous lecture, I have just shown you that how we'll create a wall, how we'll create windows, how we'll create door, and also how we'll modify that if required. Okay, so um, I, I have just um, tried to give you a basic information about that software. Okay, so from that lecture, I'm just going to show you that how we'll create a floor plan and after that how we'll uh, complete that perfectly so the floor plan i am using here this is the floor plan okay so uh, i will uh, create that floor plan uh, in revit and also i will just give a 3d view on it and will complete everything about that project okay so and also i will show you that how we'll create the front view how we'll create back view or a different elevation for our that project and how, how we'll create also cross section for that okay so and also how we'll uh, make a project sheet for our structure i mean for our that plan so to do that i'm just going here uh here and i'm creating new okay and i'm not saving it so from here project and template should be here the architectural template so here i'm using architectural template and i'm clicking okay so here a template have come so before starting work before starting work we have to change something so here we'll just give the uh, floor level okay here we'll give floor level or uh, sailing plan so first of all i'm just uh, going to change about that floor level so to change floor level what do I have to do? I will simply click here east or any of it elevation. Yeah, then here I will just give the level. So here uh, I will consider this is our ground level and this is our first floor level. And um, below it, I will take another level that will I mean for plant level. So I will click a level right and uh, I'll just zoom out and by clicking here sorry so here I'll take a uh, line so here I'm just taking a level and I'll come till that point so see here we are finding some tracking point so I'll just click here so this is our level and I'll skip okay and again I will skip so now I'll rename that. So now I will uh, give that G R O U N D ground level, ground level. Then click anywhere. Then yes. Okay. So here we have changed our ground level, and I'll consider that our ground level will be in zero level so here it is zero level sorry control z because uh, uh control z first of all i'll change that after that i'll give it zero so i'll just give it ground floor z -R -O. ground floor and its distance will be and i'll just give it two okay so and uh, i'll consider that our plant level height is two feet okay and um, here after that now i am able to give a zero to reduce the overlap okay so um, here i provided that and for that double click and here i'll just give first floor first floor and this value will be dot three okay like that yes and here uh, the height is 10 feet okay here height is 10 feet and if you need to change that you can change that and here you are seeing that they have overlap right they have an overlap so to read through that overlap how you can do that you can just go here for in a scaling and we are seeing that on by 8 inch equal to 1 feet so what i can do that here on by uh, 8 equal to we can consider that on so just see now it's okay right now our uh, level is okay right so i'll just 
come here and I'll give it one so, yes so this is one two and three so ground level or this is the first follow level so I think um, it's have changed so when it's have changed uh, now So, sorry, ground floor level. Now, uh, we have to come here, ground floor level, to draw our a structure, okay? So, um, well, let's remember that we will draw our a structure in ground here, the ground floor level, okay? Not ground level, ground floor from ground, uh, ground level. So, here, and uh, just one thing I had to show, and go architecture and here wall and from height wall height okay well what will be the all height all height will be till first floor so if I consider all height will be till first floor okay and uh, here what will be the uh, location line finish interior okay so it's done now if I take a line from here any line okay and if I draw here and escape okay and if I just go here east just see sorry not just see when we have created a line and if I click here so if I click here just see um, here when I when I have drawn a line just here from that point to that point okay so ground floor to first floor so suppose you need to change its height in future then how do how you will do that just simply if you change its height suppose if you need height uh, 12 feet just see uh, sorry 20 feet then it's also changed it's up also changed right so in this way we are able to change that in future if we need that okay so I'm um, doing it's now 10 10 so in this way we are able to change that perfectly so I'm just selecting and deleting and I'm going here so this is our ground floor level okay ground floor level I mean ground uh, floor so now we have to draw our a structure we have to draw our a structure but before uh, creating I mean before starting work will change or something modify uh, sorry manage and here additional setting and here we'll just go temporary dimension in our previous lecture also I have discussed about that so we'll take dimension from face to face and uh, for our door it will be opening then okay right so uh, now it's okay so now we'll start creating our project so for that what we'll do actually so I'll open our uh, model from here and see first of all first of all I will create a rectangular shape here I'll create actually um, they have a huge benefit in our rivet that we can do anything with our project after completing that okay we can do anything or with our project after completing that so first of all what do we have to do I will just simply take a rectangle from that point to that point okay so what will be that 32 feet and here 37 feet actually there are no requirement uh, for that value okay they have no requirement for that value because we can uh, create any shape and after that it will change automatically no problem here actually so I'll open a rivet and uh, one thing I'll consider that I'll consider that our outside wall will be 10 inch and our inside wall will be 6 inch okay again listen our outside wall will be 10 inch and uh, consider our inside wall that will be 9 inch uh, 5 inch okay it's okay 5 inch so our outside wall 10 inch and our uh, inside will be 5 inch or 6 inch so I am considered 10 inch and 6 inch okay so here 
uh, I'll just come to our Revit and first of all I'll change our that's that model so for that I'll come architecture then wall and here if we consider they have six inch wall here generic six inch all but uh, maybe they have no 10 inch all so I'll consider uh, not uh, this is not a big we'll consider this is a big all okay we'll consider this is a big all or generic all it's up to you so I'm considering a generic all so here six inch all is available six inch all so I'll select that and I'll uh, click here to create a 10 inch wall I'll just click here I'll get double uh, duplicate so I'll take here 10 inch okay and here uh, I'll consider that and here I uh, see the width is uh, even 6 inch so I'll just click edit and from here I'll take it 10 inch okay and uh, then okay so it is 10 inch and then again okay so we have a uh, I mean I mean here we get two wall like 10 inch one and here 6 inch so we get two wall 10 inch and 6 inch so our outside all will be 10 inch so what we'll do actually I'll just simply click here in 10 inch wall and uh, no need to change our height every time so from here first of all we have selected our height will be till first floor it's enough and a line of location I mean um, line location that will be finish face interior and um, it's okay right it's okay and now from and also from here I'll take a rectangle I'll take a rectangle a rectangle wall so and also you have to create your a structure inside that for camera so I'll just take a wall like that I think it's okay okay so click it's done if you see this is our structure and uh, this is okay so uh, this is our wall and also yeah it's a change from interior face to interior face from interior face to interior face it's a changed so uh, till this lecture it's okay and uh, I hope you have done till that point perfectly and in our next lecture in our uh, just I can do one thing before finishing out that lecture so I'll just click that point okay and in, if you see our plan so they have a point that point to that point so how do we can do that uh, we can create so from that point to just you can create any line that's not fact and you are seeing that this this they have a uh, line or uh, above of our uh, line of location so or you can do that you can simply press uh, escape uh, space button like that and it will change so it's up to you actually and we'll just come here okay escape so just see we have uh, created line here okay now what we'll do we can we can um, delete that wall we can delete that wall by using just to delete that wall you have to go modify and from here you have to just go trim or you have to uh, enter tr for that so i'm just clicking here and what you have to do to trim that line just you have to select that wall and you have to select that all just see it's a trim and again you have to remove that all and also you have to remove that all just see our final shape have created here our final shape have created so in our next lecture i will try to all of our um, room that how we'll create that so thank you thank you very much and if you think that that's helpful for you obviously yes to with us and like our video obviously leave a comment how was that and don't forget to subscribe because uh, your support inspires for the next work so thank you thank you very much